Good morning to the Mari. Are we going this way? Let's go this way. Good morning to the Mari. Hey, are you going to say good morning? Say good morning. Hello, internet. Good morning, all. How are you guys this morning? Hello, how are you? Do you have fuzzy stuff in your face? You probably can't see that, but I can, and it bugs me. Oh, there's stuff on the lens. All better. How are you guys doing today? I am doing just wonderful. Um, spent some time on the phone with Lily this morning, talking to her about her schedule and how stressed out she is. And poor girl, she's got so much going on, piled on this semester that way. Uh, she doesn't have to take another year. Because ASU does their stuff weird, the way that the classes that she needs to take so that she can graduate when she wants to, um, they only offer some classes in the spring and some classes in the fall and you know, so it's kind of a pain. So this semester she has, gosh, like uh, two calculus classes and uh, two chemistry classes along with two labs that go with those, physics and I don't know, who knows, I mean. Who knows? I, I, I can't even keep them straight when she talks to me and she's told me probably a hundred times. I'm stressed out about it and I don't even have to do it. So, she's at home freaking out, pulling herself together, doing homework. And I am here watching the dog play in the field and try to chase stuff instead of pooping like she should be. And I'm going to get ready for snowboarding. i got to get stuff packed and go through everything. Uh, somehow it seems I lost a pair of jeans. So I have to find some jeans. I've lost some weight, so I only have really two pairs of jeans that fit. The other ones just look kind of kind of big and baggy, and I'm not I'm not so into the huge big baggy. Like I like some extra room in my stuff, but I don't like to look like a thug. Way I have jeans to change into for us going out on the town and partying with the kiddos. No, um, everybody's gonna be tired, so I'm pretty sure. We're gonna grab food and go to the hotel room and everybody's gonna like, there's a gopher in here and I'm gonna get it. Damn it. These stupid gophers are always running away from me. I can never find them. Crazy dog. <laughs> Her whole head's in the ground right now. Look. Nothing but dog butt sticking up. What is it, Mar? Let me dig a mine and find out. Breakfast, coffee, dog breakfast. Get the day started. <laughs> You're funny. How come you bounce up and down like that? <laughs> back. Back like a bunny. Back like a bunny. You're not backing like a bunny. There you go, little bunny hops. Kind of look like you're tripping. When I first came to Prescott, some butte wasn't any bigger than a little anthill. Now it's a mountain everybody climbs. Was there dinosaurs though? What do you think of that? No dinosaurs, no. Just, just big ants. Lots of Indians and cowboys though. And that's that. You can stop now. Just for reference size, there's Mari. That's the mystery bag. So, that is the size of the mystery bag that we are going to take to Snowball with us. What do you think is in there? So yeah, dog, mystery bag. Mystery bag, dog, cat. Me. Okay, so I changed the gain on this microphone just a little bit in hopes that when I'm in the car, it's not so bad. Um, I guess we'll find out right now because usually about this time it's sitting there going fuh, 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 and I can't figure it out because it's not my level, it's not the fan, it's not the windows down, it's not the windows up, it's none of the above. Um, it just makes the audio's levels just bounce up and down, which there's not much that I can do about it unless, I mean, I guess I could cut every, every other half second and lower it so that they're all the same, but... Who has that much time in a day, right? It's either that or I just don't. Sam Malou! It's either that or I just, uh, that was a buddy that I used to work with. It's either that or I just don't film while I'm in the car, so. 
we will see if this works. If not, then I'm really sorry, guys. You're just going to have to kind of put up with it. Riding, riding, riding. Trying not to die. Fuzz in your face. Raw ride. We were walking up the steep part because both of us ran out of steam. It was a steep one. When I watch these videos back, I realize I sweat. I pant like a donkey. Well, do, don do donkeys pant? So, we were pretty much up at the top. You can tell by the way we were panting. And Thumb Butte is over there. Granite is over there. And Granite Dells, Willow Lake are way over there. You can see the rocks. And Prescott is that way. And Flagstaff and Snowball are way off over there where those mountains are. So th that gives you a uh, idea of where we are riding today. Um, you can zoom in on this, but you lose a lot of the clarity. So they can see them off over there just as well as we can. Captain Climber, get it, get it. That was a good climb, huh? There ain't nothing compared to the other side's not. I can't even breathe. The other side's not half that hard. Way to take the hard way. I don't want to yeah. take the legacy because it's harder. Yeah, BS. It's twisty windy. Mom brought us up the hardest climb there is. That's. I'm glad I was in a low gear because there's no way I would have made it in a high one. Oh no. Or I'm glad I was in a high. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever gear was to stand up and crank rather than spin my ass off. I call it low. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I think what I don't like about Legacy is that the turns and the hills come and you don't know it. Yeah. And you don't have time to downshift and prepare for it as well. Yeah. Woo! What do you guys think of that? Isn't that awesome? Oh, good. Look at all those rocks. You know, yeah. there's trails out in the dells. Yep. that I've seen before. Yep. I don't know where they go, but they're out there. The cool thing about Prescott and the bad thing at the same time is that none of the trails are really mapped because they're all technically illegal trails. So they don't put them on maps because if they put them on maps, then the Forest Service and stuff will come out and tear them up. Yep. They don't mind that they're there, but they don't want them on maps. So you have to go out and find them yourself or know somebody that knows where they're at. So part of my goal this year is to find all the trails. You got something on your face there. Ooh, yeah. Dirty. You got bush all over your face. Come on. Come climb this huge mountain with me. Good girl. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, so we were way up over there. And then way up over there. Mom's taking the dog to the bathroom. I don't know what that's all about. She's probably getting a drink. <sighs> Good day of riding. I don't know how far we went, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Don't care. <sighs> I gotta find a mount or something so that uh, I can put my the camera like right here on my shoulder or something. I tried to hang it from the strap, but you guys it wouldn't be. You guys would just be getting motion sickness. So I'd really like to be able to film and ride at the same time, but holding it, it's just too shaky. I don't know what to do. They might make like a helmet mount or something, but I don't know. We'll see. Figure something out someday. Pass all these videos on to your friends so that way I can afford to buy one. Yeah. Oh, just went down the sweetest little trail. It had a bunch of little doubles in it. I can't wait to get used to that one. That one's going to be a blast. There comes the Madre. Did you jump? You didn't jump any of those? Are you kidding? Oh man, you're missing out. It's a fun little trail, but I am not a jumper. There were a couple there that are timed just perfect that you can double. I'd biff it. We made it out alive. I think I already said this in the parking lot, which shows how good of a ride it was, if I've already forgotten that I recorded that and we finished. Alive. Yeah. 5.56 miles, which felt... Felt more like 15. Yeah, it felt more like 15. It was harder than the 10 miles we did around the lake the other day because it was a lot more climbing. If you would like to see it, it's on my Facebook, as well as will be posted on my Strava later, so I can keep track. So, back to the house to check into emails for snowboarding to make sure we got everything together. 
and then homeward so that Nana can stuff food down my throat again. She doesn't think I eat enough. Oh, well, I just had a nice yummy bagel sandwich for dinner. Uh, posted my ride today on Strava. Now I am upstairs packing for snowboarding. Got to get everything into one of those bags over there and watching some CTFXC at the same time. I don't really watch TV anymore. TV sucks. Commercials blow. So I don't watch it. Oh, hey, everybody. I am getting ready to go to bed. It has been a long day and uh, I'm ready to get some sleep. I'm all packed and ready to roll. Uh, even though we're not leaving until Monday and today is Saturday. Well, tonight is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. So I got packed nice and early, which I like to do if I can. That way I don't have to worry about it. All I got to do is throw in my bathroom stuff and pack up my laptop. You know, grab the personal stuff, the chargers for the camera, all that good stuff. Um, so I hope you guys had a most wonderful day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.